Now let's turn to the big battle being waged by the royal couple to shut down publication of those photos of Kate Topless. A huge victory just moments ago in French court. The magazine that first printed the photos was ordered to hand all of them over within 24 hours. ABC's Jeffrey Kaufman is in Nanterre, France, just on the outskirts of Paris this morning with the very latest. Good morning, Jeffrey. And good morning to you, Elizabeth. They are the photos that Buckingham Palace has called grotesque. And just moments ago, a French court seems to have agreed, granting William Arthur, Philip Louis Mountbatten, Windsor, and Catherine Elizabeth Middleton a rare injunction, banning further distribution of those pictures of a topless Kate. The French courts can't take back the magazines already sold, but the ruling means no more can be printed. The magazine will face $12,000 fines each time it defies the ruling, and it has been ordered to hand over all digital copies of the photos by noon tomorrow. The pictures of a topless Kate on holiday with William in the south of France first appeared in the French magazine Closer. They have rocketed around the world on the Internet, and yet for once that isn't stopping the royals from fighting back. In court here in France, the lawyer for the Duke and Duchess said they were profoundly shocked and troubled. He called the photos a breach of their personal intimacy, adding that the couple had not consented to and had absolutely no knowledge that the photographs were being taken. The photos have also been published in a 26-page spread in the Italian magazine Chi, the same magazine that so upset the royals 15 years ago when it published photos of Diana's final moments. As the couple finish a royal tour of the South Pacific, they are doing their best to soldier on and show that oh-so-British stiff upper lip. But 15 years after William's mother died being pursued by the paparazzi here in France, it is all very raw. Like Diana, Kate is good for business. Off duty, when they're in private, when they have a reasonable expectation of privacy, they are off limits. Now, the British tabloids will not touch these pictures, but Dublin's Irish Times did print them. The owner's so incensed, he has suspended the editor and is really threatening to close down the paper.